This is Alton Broad. It's in the southern part of the Norfolk Broads, which really extend down into the neighbouring county of Suffolk as well. The Broads are a wide network of navigable rivers and old disused diggings, with a few man-made cuts built to shorten routes when they were in their commercial heyday. In the past, sailing wherries, cargo craft unique to the Broads, carried both merchandise and passengers between the villages and towns. They took the transship cargo from ships that docked in Great Yarmouth and Lowestoft inland and brought back agricultural produce. In the winter, some wherries crunched about in Alton Broad's fresh water to collect ice, which was then stored to provide spring and summer chilling, if you could afford it. It's all about leisure and holidays now, of course, and these waterways host a very large number of hire cruisers. But there are also many privately owned boats, including seagoing yachts like this one. Her crew are about to take her through Mutford Lock, which leads into Lake Lothing, a one-time centre of commercial shipping and shipbuilding, which leads to the sea through Lowestoft Harbour. Sea locks like this are unusual sights today. This one retains the water for navigation in the southern broads and can pass vessels up to the size of an east coast sailing barge. That's 70 feet long by nearly 21 feet wide. The lock is owned and operated by the local council and operates from 8am until 5.30pm during the week and from 8am till 7.30pm at weekends and on bank holidays. That's in the summer, of course, from the 1st of April till the 31st of October. From November till the end of March, they just open from 8am till 11am, Monday to Friday. Craft with fixed masts need to have the Carlton Rail Bridge open too. This can entail a wait at times. The UK Boating website page for this programme gives the contact details and background information links you'll need to pass through the lock. Now, let's see the rest of the operation.